We all have players that we come across that have different styles. So how do you tactically deal with different styles of play? We all prefer to play players with a certain style, you know, and then we struggle against people who have a different style. So it's coming up with a plan to be able to negate those styles so you can actually get on top of them and they don't frustrate you. One of the players that's extremely difficult to play against is a pacey hard hitter. How do you control the ball so they cannot hit the ball through pace or hit it very hard? How do you stop them? I mean, there are some simple things you can do. I mean, one of them is to make sure you get the ball high on the front wall, make sure you get the ball right into the back corners so they get stuck in the corners and they cannot hit the ball hard. The other obvious way is try to get the ball as tight to the wall as possible. So with the ball being tight, they can't really wind their swing up and hit the ball at 100 miles an hour. But I think one of the big things is the varying of pace. Hit some hard yourself, lob the ball, get the ball into the corners, get the ball tight, make sure you hit into the open spaces so they can't overwhelm you with, with, with power. I mean, that's probably easier said than done, but that is really the only way you can deal with somebody who's very aggressive and hits that ball hard. If you're playing a player that's extremely skillful and loves the front of the court, so basically what we're talking about is a shot player, one thing about shot players is they're not very disciplined. If you give them half a chance, they are going to go short because they don't want the long rallies. So when you're playing a shot player, it might sound so simple this, but really you've got to get them in the back corners with a good dying length. You've got to establish yourself on the tee to tempt them to go short. So hopefully when they're behind you and they go short, they hit the tin. If you start hitting cross courts too much, it gives your opponent, the shot player, angles to play all these lovely shots. Keep the ball straight, they have to then really be skillful to play their short game and all the lovely shots they play. So keeping the ball straight is a very, very important part of negating a shot player. Another player that is extremely difficult to play against is what we call the lob dropper. They lift the ball high on the wall. They love to play the floated drop. It really frustrates you because you feel you can't generate pace against them. So how do you play a lob dropper? To me, what you've got to maybe try and do is get the person in the, the back of the court, which sounds so obvious, to create some space between yourself and them and get in front of them and volley as much as you can. Play at a high pace, vary your pace, attack the ball with pace when you need to, try and widen the court. And one of the fatal mistakes that you find players do is like when they're lobbing and dropping and you get a ball up in the air, you're thinking, I've got to go short. Do not go short until the ball is at the right height. If the ball is high, just put the ball down the back again. Because what they love you to do is to try and go short when the ball's high and it hits the top of the tin. So when the ball's high, just put the ball back down the wall into those back corners and wait your proper opening and good opportunity. Another player that we all come across is what we call the runner. But he just or she just keeps on getting the ball back to try and frustrate you. So how do you play a runner? One of the main things is that if, if, if you're in the rally and you play a good shot and the runner gets that ball back and you're thinking, oh, he's got that back. And then you go into the rally a bit more and he gets another one back when you got short. And after three times you're thinking, oh my word, he's, that person's just getting the ball back all the time is that don't get frustrated. Every time he gets the ball back where you think he might not, is go back to the beginning of the rally again. So you've not got to make silly errors. You've not got to get frustrated and let the person you're playing run. And I think you don't wanna make your mistakes, you don't wanna make your errors, and don't go for a low margin when you go short. Go for four or five inches, and like I said, let that person run. Another player we all come across is the volleyer, the person that dominates the middle of the court, the person that keeps you behind them, the person when they volley hits the ball very, very hard 
again, very difficult to deal with. So how do you negate the volleyer? To me, the first thing you do is to try to get the ball high on the wall, obviously deep into the back, to try to get them off the tee, then they can't volley. Making sure that you can get the ball tight down the wall, which again restricts the volley. In some way, let the person volley, which is weird enough. If you let them volley for a game, I used to play a player who was a very good volleyer, but after the first game, he volleyed himself out because he'd get very tired. So volleying takes a lot of energy. So the main thing is to keep that player away from the middle through good width, good length, good height, tight down the wall, and eventually, like I've said on previous videos, they will get tired eventually. But one thing you must do, you have to find a way of removing them from where they live, which is the tee.